So Las Vegas' hospitality economy is incredibly volatile. It is super sensitive to recessions. And when I say hospitality economy, I'm talking about hotels, motels, bars, restaurants. This is how the Bureau of Economic Analysis measures the hospitality GDP. That's what I'm measuring here. That's where the data is coming from. And we can see that Las Vegas is super susceptible. So as a short-term rental investor, this could also be cause for concern. While as a real estate investor in particular, thinking of a long-term hold, I may be okay with a volatile housing economy because in 20, 30 years, a house is going to be worth more than if I invest in any other economy, local economy. But if during that time frame, I'm going to experience really volatile volatile cash flows as well, not just asset appreciation change, I might want to think twice about working there, right? Or investing there as a short-term rental. So that's something important to consider. Look at this, right? We've got Wisconsin. This is the whole state of Wisconsin, okay? 2% growth on average during the recession, 2008 to 2011. 4% growth on average pre-recession and 6% growth on average post-recession. So all three of these points are much closer together than most places here, with the exception of the state of New York, incidentally, which experienced pretty much the same growth during and before the recession, and then experienced a very similar uh, post-recession uh, growth uh, as the rest of the national economy did. Um, but just some kind of insights to glean. We're also, for the fund's purposes, keenly interested in stable cash flow economies. Now, they don't always match up with stable housing economies. So what we're really looking for is the intersect of both, where the housing economy is stable and the hospitality economy is stable.